couple of weeks ago, I built a town in Boxburg, and today marks episode 6 of my town series. And in episode 6, we're going to be building a hospital. As you can tell by my costume, I am dressed as a surgeon. I am a surgeon. I am a surgeon! And helping me today is one of my subscribers, Angel. And at the end of the video, I'll be inviting you guys to come visit the hospital. So if you guys want to participate and potentially be in one of my videos, literally all you have to do is be subscribed. So with that being said, let's get started. Okay, so me and Angel both agreed that this is going to be the plot we are going to be building the hospital. It is very small, but the good thing is it can be like two, three stories. We could maybe even a hidden basement for your little murder deeds. I mean, it is Halloween after all. And as you can see at the front, some of you guys have actually made me some hospital decals for the town. So credit to you guys. I tell you what though folks, that's bloody nice. That is bloody lovely. Actually, yeah, if I get rid of the floor, as you can see, we could have something down here like we done with the cinema. That could potentially work. But for now, we'll just focus on the first floor. Angel said they want to focus on the interior. So while they do that, I'll be focusing on the exterior. And I seen something like this on Pinterest. So I want to do something similar. I don't know if it's going to work, but we we shall see. Again, it's only going to be like a little hospital. It's not like it's a big city town. We may potentially do that in the future, but Salem side's like a little cute town. I think I want to potentially do like a school in this massive building. So it would make sense that the hospital relatively close to the school. I actually hate the hospital. I was in the hospital all the time as a kid. Oh my gosh, I remember I missed like three months of school once because I was so sick. I had to do all my work from home. It was so bad. So the hospital doors, they need to be like relatively big. So we're just going to use like a massive sliding door here. On this one, they have like a hospital sign. I think instead of a hospital sign, we might add a cross using basic shapes because we are basic. Oh, I just seen Angel at a floor. Sometimes I forget there's people building with me when I'm like doing the town. <laughs> and I'll see someone add something in the inside. I'm like, whoa, I'm scared. I said, oh, I'll jump here. Oh, okay. That's kind of cute little cross. Okay, you know what? I think I'm going to make this hospital three story. I'm like, should we make this hospital three story? And Angel goes, I feel like it would look good tall. And then we both go, yeah. <laughs> I agree, actually. I feel like a hospital should be pretty tall. This is definitely going to be like the tallest building in the town, but it makes sense because, I mean, it is a hospital. Yeah, I feel like that makes more sense, eh? You know what's the worst? Hospital food. Ugh. What colors should we have this hospital? I'm thinking white because, I mean, like when I think of a hospital, I think of white, maybe blue. I just said, I'm thinking maybe the second floor is a checkup room and a surgery room. And then the top floor could be MRI scans and an office, like you said. Oh, okay. Let's see what Angel's working on so far. So this is the downstairs area. We have the reception and check-in. And then the second floor we have a few units we got a checkup room and then on the third floor we can have like a surgery room and an mri scan i feel like that's pretty good for a hospital i love how angel is literally like articulately mapping out the inside of the hospital and i'm just like pretty led lights around the hospital I mean, yes, it's a hospital, but it needs to look pretty. Angel said for a hospital, you're going to walk up a lot of stairs. Oh yeah, wait, why don't we just add an elevator? That would probably make the most sense. I feel like it would take up less room. Then that way you can just go straight up. You know, I just realized we also need a bathroom. Okay, so elevator is going to be three story. Then we place it right there like this. $45,000. Look, she's crying. Do you hear her crying? Like we care. Now, I want windows all at the back here because typically in hospitals, they have heaps of windows. So we need to make sure the patients feel very comfortable. Also, can we talk about the view up here? Oh my gosh. Okay, I think I'm gonna place the windows on this wall instead. I feel like it just looks neater for some reason. I just realized as well, hospital lighting, if you didn't know, is like super bright. <laughs> I literally make fun of hospital lighting all the time. And I was gonna change these awful light colors, but like that's hospital lighting. So that's what we're gonna have to stick with. You know what? I'm just gonna copy these plants from um, the AV gym. Thank you. See, boom, we love us some fake plants. Angel just goes, those lights flashbang me from the inside. Yeah, hospital lighting, it's not fun. Actually, you know what? This is the AV hospital. I don't have to have bright lighting. This is my hospital. I can do whatever I want. Oh my gosh, Angel just added AV security at the front. That is iconic. Okay, I think that's the outside of the... <coughs> Whoa, my voice just cracked. I think that is the outside of the hospital. We're going to keep it very basic. We might just have like a little wheelchair at the front. Even though Bloxburg does not have wheelchairs, we're going to make them. If you add a rocking chair, a transparent cube, and then put a wagon wheel on this cube. And then with the transform tool, you kind of move it. So it's right next to the rocking chair. And then it kind of looks like a wheelchair, kind of. So now we can start working on the inside. All right, so I'm going to let Angel finish the first floor while I work on the second floor. So on the second floor we've got checkup and we've got surgery. I think the first room I want to do is the surgery room. If you didn't know, surgery rooms are very cold. I remember when I went for my surgery, I was trying to like fight the anesthesia. 
I'm like, okay, how long can I go without falling asleep right now? It's like two seconds, but you know, I tried. I would add windows here, but surgery rooms are very cold and secluded. So first we need obviously the surgery bed. So how I'm going to do this is by placing a cube down first and just like a sleeping bag on top. I feel like I'm in an episode of Grey's Anatomy right now. So pick me. Choose me. Love me. Doesn't Grey's Anatomy have like... 15 seasons or something and that is absolutely insane now in a hospital room they'll typically have like a heart monitor and like a brain monitor they have a tray back here where they put all your organs <laughs> ew okay we need all like the instruments for the surgery and what do we even have in here like a fork i don't know if i seen a fork in my surgery waiting room let's just say i wouldn't be in there for long i feel like it's too white in here we need a little touch of blue and then we need the light that shines down on the patient maybe we can have some of these track lights that looks terrifying but i mean it worked okay yeah that is definitely giving hospital vibes oh wait you know what Bloxburg has these industrial floor lamps okay yes angel says i need that 1987 computer at the front desk to make it realistic oh my god yep yeah, stop oh we can't forget about the cabinets for our instruments i want everything in this room to be metallic oh the hospital waiting room is actually looking really good I'm super excited to see what Angel comes up with. Okay, what else do we need in here? Fire extinguisher. Do you know what we need in here? A sink. Every surgery room needs a sink. Oh, we also need some of these electrical outlets. We need heaps of them, actually. And if any of you are like Alaska that's kitchen utensils, you know what? I don't care. Cut the cameras. This is like the top medical equipment in the country. You know what was so weird? When I went in for my surgery, the surgeons were literally playing rap music because you go in, like if you're going in for surgery, you get like wheeled in the room beforehand. So you can only imagine my shock when I went in and I started hearing rap music. I was very confused to say the least. But I think that's the surgery room all done. And because this is a surgery room, I can use a cooler door. Now we just have a little corridor in this section. So we're going to copy a few of the chairs upstairs. And this is going to be a waiting area for people who need to see the doctor. And also just people who are like waiting to see their family. Hey, to work in a hospital i feel like it'd be so sad the amount of stuff you'd see each day i just i don't know you know what? we'll also add a tv up here I feel like people should be able to watch some tv while they wait for their doctor okay i'm not sure what this room up here was meant to be i'm pretty sure it was meant to be a bathroom i'm trying to be like as regular and plain and boring as like a real life hospital would look like so let's be honest hospitals aren't like the prettiest thing ever and for the toilet we need to make this so it's like disability friendly oh my gosh angel literally just said i'm trying to be plain boring like in a real life hospital did i not just say that angel is actually reading my mind right now angel's like i can read your mind alaska uh, see i'm telling you i have the mind of a master master i have the mind of a mastermind now typically you wouldn't catch me dead using these showers like ever but in hospital bathrooms they always have these showers now we can do the doctor's office up here i reckon we can put the desk in the corner a little computer a bunch of files let's be honest doctor's desks in like real life they are so messy because i feel like if i was a doctor i would have to have a neat office or i would go crazy so we have like a bunch of paperwork up here okay i'm just gonna fill up these storage with like more desk organizers i don't know why but organizing this um doctor's desk is like the cutest thing i've ever done there's usually like two chairs like one for you and then one for like a parent and then we have like the actual medical chair so i'm gonna use a basic shave a relax on chair and that way the doctor can kind of like check what's going on with you you know there's something about like hospitals that are like so comforting for some reason i'm also thinking we can have like a little tv at the back here anyway as i was saying could you imagine if this was like your doctor's office like i mean this view oh <gasps> yes ma'am yeah, why did I put the hotel here? Like, this has the best view in, like, the entire town. You know what doesn't have the best view? That x-ray. Look how bad that is. Oh my god. Now that the doctor's office is done, we can finally start working on the final floor of the hospital. But before that, let's check on Angel. Let's see what she's up to. Oh, <gasps> this is looking cute. Okay, reception's looking amazing. Apparently, they're doing something with the basement. I don't know what Angel's up to right now. I don't know if I want to question it. I said the basement is looking spooky. And she goes, good. On the final floor, we have, it's going to be like an MRI scan and a patient room. I thought we could potentially make this two patient rooms. So that's what we're going to do. So this can be patient room number one where we can have a regular bed i know finally one thing i remember about hospital was how uncomfy the beds were all my days they were uncomfortable oh i'm hurt oh my neck damn look at this patient room okay but you know what i just realized it's my hospital i can make this fancy if i want to make it fancy i want my patients to be living in luxury chair here for our visitors remember my mum? she fell asleep on one of these chairs when i was in the hospital and i felt so bad now every hospital patient needs flowers we have a little vase of flowers here oh and like one of those food Food trays. Okay, I have an idea of what I want to do in my head. I don't know if you guys have ever been to a hospital, but um, you know how they give you like the food trays? No, we're gonna do something like that. So we can have our little food tray. Oh, I remember I was given like orange juice every single night and it was so good. 10 out of 10. 
Oh, and we can't forget those oh so scrumptious hospital pillows. Uh, they only give us one though. That's the one thing I hated about the hospital is that like they only gave me two pillows and I'm like, I need more than two pillows, mate. Where are my dragons? Oh, and we need like the patient details. You know, above the bed, how it says like all the patient details. Yes, we need that. We need a duffel bag because like you don't know how long you're going to be in the hospital for. Oh my gosh. And then for our like medication, use these spice jars. <laughs> we probably shouldn't give the patient like unauthorized access to the medication. That's just the way AV hospital works. And of course, it wouldn't be a hospital without obnoxious lighting right in the middle. Now we need to make sure to add a door with some windows. You know, it's not much privacy, but um, these tall glass double doors. And someone told me you can actually add curtains in the door. So we'll just add some curtains here and then boom, the patient has some privacy. Okay, that is the patient room all done. Now this over here is going to be the MRI room. This is kind of like what an MRI looks like if you've never had one. I don't know how the heck we're gonna do an MRI, but we'll figure it out. Actually, we're gonna copy the bed from the surgery room. And the only difference is we need to make a circle around it. How are we going to do a circle? I don't know, but we will figure it out. Lies, lies, and more lies. You know, if life doesn't work out for you, just use basic shapes, okay? Okay, I'm gonna attempt to make a circle. All I'm gonna say is this better work. Two seconds later. Why is this circle not working? <laughs> I'm gonna cry. Whoa, I just opened chat and all I see is Angel saying, come look at the pee cup. I'm sorry? Where, where is the pee cup? I'm, I'm so confused. Maybe it's in this bathroom. Um, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Not Angel adding a pee cup. Oh my god. You know what? I'm gonna surprise you guys. I'm capable of doing this. I'm gonna finish the MRI room and the last patient room, which is gonna be pretty much identical to this one. And I will surprise you guys with the finished result. And just like that, our hospital is all complete. So now it is time to invite you guys onto the server. And as you can see, everyone is already joining. As you can see, one of our patients has been waiting so long. They have unfortunately passed away. So far, there's no- Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, we've already got patients. Wait, 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 I'm not ready. I have to be behind here. Okay, okay, hello. What seems to be the problem today? Alaska, I broke a bone. My leg is lopsided. Oh, okay, Um, take a seat. A doctor will see you soon. Whoa, we have so many people showing up. Okay, okay, listen. Don't, <gasps> don't crash into the hospital. We've already got sick pa- Oh my god. Okay, listen, listen. Everyone, just take a seat. The doctors will see you soon, okay? Oh my gosh, what happened to her? If a few of you would like to wait in the waiting room, which is over here, I promise there is nothing suspicious. Go right in this corner. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. I actually have not seen this room yet. This is terrifying. Okay, we need to get these patients um sorted out before anything happens. Here is the bathroom, by the way. This is how the bathroom turned out. Which was our first patient? I think this was... Scar was my first patient. Okay, Scar, would you like to come into the emergency room with me? Okay, Scar, now that you are in my doctor's office... Excuse me. I don't know who you are. This is my doctor's office. My name is literally Dr. Alaska. I don't know who you are. Okay, Scar, please take a seat here and I'll check all your vitals. Okay. As you can see, mate, your bone is kind of broken. And um, and I think you're going to have to go for surgery. Okay, by the looks of it, we may need to do an MRI for further scans. So, Scar, if you'd like to follow me to the MRI room. My leg is lopsided, sir. Do I look like a sir? That is ma'am to you. You respect your doctor. Okay, Scar, follow me. We are taking this man to get an MRI. MRI. Alaska, my foot broke coming up the stairs. Can you put on a cast? Guys, I can only deal with one patient at a time. Okay, Alaska, I think I'm dead. Well, you just spoke to me. So, I mean, mate, you're not dead. I'm preparing you for an MRI if you'd like to keep it very, very still. This is um very important information. I'm going to get out of this room because I do not want to be exposed to some radiation. So, I'm going to sit here. I'm going to check his vitals. And let's just hope our first patient of the day does not die. Okay, well, I think I'm going to have to put Scar in this little into bed. So, I'm I'm just gonna I'm just gonna leave him until one of the other surgeons can deal with him because we are quite literally short on staff today. We've literally got like 40 patients and there's only one doctor and that doctor is me. Okay, if the next patient would like to come in my office, let's hope they weren't um as bad as Scar. Oh my gosh, guys, I said one patient, not 500. You are not even a human. You are a turkey. Why are you in a hospital? My gosh, this hospital has gone out of control. All the patients are following me. I'm scared. We need more staff. You, you are hired. I don't care. I don't know who you are, but you were now hired at the hospital. I think it's time for me to perform some surgery. Well, apparently my first surgery patient of the day is a banana. Are you even human? Okay, I'm not gonna lie to you, mate. This is my first day of um 
being a surgeon. I don't really know what I'm doing, but it's fine because, you know, practice makes perfect. Just don't be scared. I think I'm flatlining. Oh, his heart rate is going down. Guys, we just lost our first patient. I'm very sorry that we lost you. Anyway, next patient. Okay, let's check on one of these patients. Oh my gosh, look at her with her pink wheelchair. Okay, Steph has been waiting for a while, so I'm gonna go check on Steph and see if she's all right. Okay, Steph, what seems to be the problem today? My leg fell off. Oh, I think this requires an emergency surgery, so I'm gonna have to quickly take Steph to the emergency room. Oh. Not her wheelchair on the bed, oh my gosh. Okay, Angel, we need to do a leg replacement on this person right here. Cut the old one off with scissors and tape on the new one. Oh, that's kind of smart. Should we wash our hands or? Nah, okay, yeah, we're not gonna wash our hands. What did he say? Okay, listen, we're gonna cut off your old leg with scissors and we're gonna tape, tape it on with, um... <laughs> Did you just throw a water balloon at the patient? I'm making sure the patient has enough water. Oh, smart. Okay, maybe if we throw water balloons at the patient, it'll help her. Okay, Steph, how are you feeling? I think she's pretty hot. Steph? Um, Angel, she's not responding. We might have to perform CPR. You can make it, girl. Alessa, I gotta go out there. We are literally performing surgery. You can't just leave. What, what's, what's going on here? How are you even breathing? Okay, we have a few more patients. You. Aiden. Okay, Aiden, what seems to be the problem today? I think I might have the flu. Oh, okay. Um, well, Eloise, please take this patient to the isolation room. Okay, Aiden, this will be your room. This is the isolation room. Okay, right, Aiden, this is your room. These are our doctors. This is our head doctor, Eloise. This is one of the trainee doctors, Dr. Draco. And I'm your surgeon, Alaska. Also, there is no privacy here, so we need to close these blinds. Oh my god, I'm very scared. No, don't be. You are in good hands, sir. Okay, well, while our doctors treat Aiden, as you can see, we have a lot more patients to deal with today. I think that I'm going to call it a day today while I treat these patients. Hope you guys enjoyed episode six of the town series. Thank you to Angel for helping me out today, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!